The Art of Winning, How to Win in Any Situation Written by Justice O. Malcolm Published by Audio Books Office Introduction Welcome to The Art of Winning, a comprehensive guide designed to navigate you through the uncertainty of achieving success, no matter the circumstances. This book isn't just about winning in the traditional sense, it's about redefining what winning means to you, mastering the strategies that lead to success, and applying them across all facets of life, be it personal challenges, professional hurdles, or interpersonal dynamics. With an engaging, empathetic tone, this book speaks directly to the heart of anyone eager to turn their aspirations into achievements. The Art of Winning delves deep into the psychology of success, exploring how mindset, resilience, and adaptability form the cornerstones of winning strategies. Each chapter unfolds a new aspect of winning, from setting clear, actionable goals to developing a winning mindset that embraces learning from failures. The author brings a unique perspective, combining insights from psychology, business, sports, and personal development to create a multifaceted approach to winning. What distinguishes this work is its emphasis on practical, real-world applications. Through a mix of engaging anecdotes, exercises, and evidence-based ideas, you're not just reading about how to win, you're learning how to apply these principles in your daily life. Whether you're aiming to ace an interview, navigate a difficult relationship, or overcome a personal obstacle, the art of winning equips you with the tools you need to come out on top. But winning isn't just about crossing the finish line first. It's about growing, learning, and finding fulfillment in the journey. This book challenges you to look beyond societal definitions of success and discover what winning truly means to you. It encourages you to strike a balance between striving for success and maintaining your well-being, emphasizing that true winning is achieving your goals without compromising your happiness. The art of winning is for dreamers and doers, for anyone who's ever faced a situation that seemed insurmountable, and for those who simply want to improve their game in the complex sport of life. This guide promises not just to inspire but to transform your approach to challenges, equipping you with the confidence, strategies, and mindset to win time and time again. Embark on this journey of discovery, strategy, and success with The Art of Winning and start turning the tide in your favor today. The Art of Winning is within reach, and this book is your first step towards mastering it. You're about to start on an exploration of The Art of Winning. This book walks you through the process of winning, from setting your mindset right to celebrating your victories. It teaches you to identify your goals, devise winning ideas, and learn from setbacks. Most importantly, it shows you how to sustain success in the long run. Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned to discover how this book can be your manual to victory, no matter the circumstances. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 Understanding the Art of Winning Your journey to mastering the art of winning starts with recognizing that success isn't a mere occurrence but a deliberate, calculated process. Winning isn't about luck or chance, it's about strategy, learning, and constant adaptation. It's about understanding that every move, every decision you make counts. Consider a chess game. Each player knows the rules, the moves of each piece, and the ultimate goal. But the winner is the one who can anticipate, strategize, and outsmart their opponent. That's the art of winning. It's not just about knowing the rules, it's about knowing how to use them to your advantage. You don't have to be the smartest, fastest, or strongest. You've got to be the most determined, the most adaptable. You've got to be willing to learn, unlearn, and relearn. You've got to be resilient, able to bounce back from setbacks and forge ahead, even when the odds are against you. Understanding the art of winning requires a shift in perspective. It's not about reaching the finish line first, it's about enduring the race. It is about learning to embrace the journey, 
with all of its ups and downs as well as its twists and turns. In the end, the art of winning is more than just claiming victory. It's about personal growth, gaining wisdom and experience. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. So prepare yourself, embrace the process, and begin your road to mastering the art of winning. Chapter 2 Setting Your Winning Mindset to set a winning mindset, you've got to believe in your potential to overcome challenges and achieve your goals. This mindset isn't just about positive thinking, it's about the unwavering conviction that you can and will prevail. It's about seeing obstacles not as insurmountable walls, but as stepping stones to your victory. Remember, every champion, every victor, every winner was once a beginner. They didn't start with a trophy in their hands, they started with a dream in their hearts and a determination in their spirit. They set their minds on winning, and they didn't allow doubts or fears to deter them. You've got the same potential within you, it's a matter of unleashing it and letting it fuel your journey. However, setting a winning mindset isn't a one-time event. It's a constant process, a day-to-day -day commitment. It requires nurturing your self-belief, feeding your determination, and keeping your focus razor sharp. It means waking up each day with the resolve to be better, to do better, to win better. Chapter 3. Identifying Your Goals Charting the path to victory begins with clear, defined goals that ignite your passion and drive your determination. You've got to identify what you want to achieve, what you're willing to sacrifice for, and what success looks like to you. It's not about vague wishes or generic aspirations. It's about precision, specificity, and clarity. It's about taking control of your destiny and shaping it with intentionality. Start by asking yourself, what do I want? Don't hold back. Dream big. Let your imagination run wild. But don't stop there. Drill down. Ask yourself, why do I want this? How will this enhance my life or the lives of others? This isn't just about material success, it's about finding purpose, fulfillment, and joy in your victories. Your goals should resonate with your values, stir your soul, and make your heart race with anticipation. Next, get specific. A goal like I want to be successful is too vague. What does success look like to you? Is it financial independence, a fulfilling career, a harmonious family life, a fit and healthy body, or perhaps the ability to make a significant difference in the world. Break it down. Make it tangible. Chapter 4. Creating a Winning Strategy So how do you transform those ambitious goals into tangible victories? Easy. You create a winning strategy. A winning strategy is your roadmap to success. It's the action plan that sets the course for your journey and keeps you on track. But remember, the goal isn't just to win, it's to win consistently. For that, you need a strategy that's adaptable, flexible, and resilient. Start by examining your goals closely. What's your desired outcome? What are the potential challenges you might face? Identify your skills and shortcomings and then devise a strategy to capitalize on your strengths while mitigating your flaws. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Sometimes the best strategy is the one that's least expected. Next, divide your aim down into smaller, more doable activities. It's easier to tackle a big goal when you approach it one step at a time. Then, prioritize these tasks based on their impact on your overall goal. Focus on high-impact tasks first, and let the rest follow. Remember, a winning strategy is more than just a plan, it's a commitment. It's the promise you make to yourself that you'll do whatever it takes to achieve your goal. So stick to it, be persistent, and don't let setbacks discourage you. Creating a winning strategy might seem challenging, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to win, not just once, but over and over again. So go ahead, invest time in crafting your winning strategy today, and set yourself up for a lifetime of victories. Chapter 5 Mastering the Mindset 
While your winning strategy serves as the roadmap to your victories, honing a winning mindset is the vehicle that drives you towards them. It's not enough to just have a plan you've got to believe in it, fuel it with positivity, and drive it with determination. Mastering a winning mindset starts with self-belief. You've got to trust in your ability to succeed. Do not let previous failures or fear of the unknown dissuade you. Instead, look at them as stepping stones on your path to achievement. Remember, the biggest battles are often fought in the mind. If you can win there, you're halfway towards achieving your goals. Next, develop a positive attitude. Stay focused on your strengths and use them to overcome your weaknesses. View challenges as possibilities for growth and learning. When you stumble, get back up. When you're tired, press on. In the face of adversity, remain steadfast and optimistic. That's the mark of a true victor. Lastly, cultivate perseverance. Rome was not created in one day, and neither will your success story. There will be times when you'll want to throw in the towel. Don't. Perseverance isn't about being the fastest or the strongest, it's about being the one who keeps going, no matter what. Mastering the mindset isn't just about thinking like a winner, it's about feeling like one, acting like one, and ultimately becoming one. So go ahead, rev up that mindset of yours. Your victories await. Chapter 6. Embracing Strategic Thinking Your journey to success demands more than just a powerful mindset. It requires the embrace of strategic thinking, the master key that opens the door to victory. To win in any situation, you need to be a master strategist, shaping your thoughts and actions to align with your goals. That's the beauty of strategic thinking. It's the art of crafting plans that lead to success. Strategic thinking isn't about being the smartest person in the room. It's about being the most prepared. It's about taking a step back, evaluating the situation, identifying your options, and choosing the path that leads to your desired outcome. It's not just about reacting to the world, but actively shaping it to your advantage. You've got to see the big picture understand the dynamics at play, and make decisions that position you for success. It's about understanding that every action has consequences, and every decision is a step towards or away from your goal. It's about being proactive, not reactive. You can't just expect to stumble upon success. You have to strategically design your path towards it. Embrace strategic thinking, and you'll find that the world becomes a chessboard with moves to be made and strategies to be played. You're the master of your destiny, and with strategic thinking, you hold the power to shape it. So, understand your goals, plan your path, and stride boldly towards victory. After all, the art of winning isn't about luck, it's about strategy. Chapter 7 Mastering Self-Discipline In the quest to shape your destiny, Mastering self-discipline emerges as a critical ally, serving as the bridge between your ambitious goals and the victories you seek. Indeed, self-discipline is the cornerstone of success. It's the ignition key that starts the engine of your dreams, propelling you towards the finish line. But how do you cultivate this essential trait? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. It's about developing a set of habits that steer your actions towards your goals. It's about saying no to instant gratification and yes to long-term benefits. Start by setting clear, achievable goals. Define what success means to you and create a roadmap to reach it. Once you've got your goals in place, commit to them. Pledge to yourself that you'll make the necessary sacrifices to achieve your dreams. Next, implement daily routines that support your objectives. These routines should be non-negotiable. They're the building blocks of self-discipline, the small but significant steps that lead to big victories. Chapter 8 Leveraging Your Strengths Harnessing the power of your unique strengths can catapult you towards unparalleled success. You're not just another face in the crowd, you're an individual with distinct skills, talents, and capabilities. It's time to stop comparing yourself to others and start capitalizing on what makes you remarkable. You see, everyone has their own set of strengths. 
Some are great communicators, while others excel in analytical thinking. Maybe you're a problem solver, or perhaps you thrive in creative endeavors. Whatever your strengths may be, they're your key to winning. They're your secret weapon, your ace up the sleeve in the game of life. However, identifying your strengths isn't enough. You've got to leverage them effectively. That means consciously applying your strengths to overcome challenges, achieve your goals, and outshine your competition. Use your strengths as your guiding light, leading you down the path towards victory. Consider the following. Why waste time and energy trying to improve your deficiencies when you could develop what you are already strong at? It's much more productive and fulfilling to cultivate your strengths. It's like sharpening a knife the sharper it is, the easier it cuts through obstacles. Chapter 9. Developing Winning Habits Building on your strengths is just the first step. It's equally important to cultivate habits that fuel your journey to victory. These winning habits are the daily routines, choices, and behaviors that consistently lead to success. They're the bedrock of your winning strategy, the backbone of your success journey. Start by setting clear goals. These are your guiding stars, the milestones that mark your path to victory. They give you a clear direction and a purpose, providing the why that fuels your determination. Be specific, make them measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This is the smart way to goal setting, a proven approach to building a winning habit. Next, focus on discipline. It's not about punishing yourself or living a life devoid of joy. It's about understanding the long-term benefits of short-term sacrifices. It's about making the tough choice today that leads to victory tomorrow. It's about consistency, persistence, and commitment. Remember, victory loves preparation and discipline is the key to preparation. Lastly, practice gratitude. This might seem irrelevant in the quest for victory, but it's not. Gratitude gives you a positive perspective, helps you appreciate your progress and fuels your momentum. It keeps you grounded, focused and motivated. It's a powerful habit that can transform your journey to victory. Developing winning habits isn't easy, but it's worth it. It requires commitment, focus, and persistence. But remember, the journey to victory isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. So take it one step at a time, one habit at a time. The victory is yours for the taking. Go for it. Chapter 10. Cultivating a Positive Attitude Shifting Gears Let's explore the power of cultivating a positive attitude, a critical component that can turbocharge your journey towards victory. You see, your attitude is a powerful tool. It's the lens through which you perceive the world. A positive attitude isn't about ignoring the negatives. It's about approaching them in a constructive way. Imagine facing a tough challenge, one that seems impossible to overcome. If you approach it with negativity, you've already lost half the battle. But adopting a positive attitude, you view it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Your optimism fuels resilience, enabling you to bounce back from setbacks and keeping you on the path to success. Cultivating a positive attitude isn't a one-time act, but a habit that you should nurture daily. Start by embracing gratitude. Acknowledge the good in your life, no matter how small. This simple act will shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right, filling you with positivity. Next, surround yourself with positivity. Engage with people who uplift you, consume content that inspires you, spend time in environments that energize you. This positivity will rub off on you, reinforcing your positive mindset. Chapter 11. Navigating Through Failures even with a positive attitude, you'll inevitably encounter failures on your journey to victory. But don't let this discourage you instead. View these setbacks as stepping stones towards your ultimate goal. Each failure is a wonderful lesson in disguise, providing an opportunity to learn, grow, and improve your approach. Remember, winning isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey too. 
Every misstep you make brings you one step closer to success. It's easy to let failure define you, to let it become a roadblock on your path to victory. But you've got to change your perspective. See failure not as an obstacle, but as a detour that guides you to a different, often better route. Let's face it, nobody likes to fail. But the truth is, failure is an integral part of winning. It's the grit in the oyster that creates the pearl. It's the catalyst that propels you to never-before-seen heights. It's the fire that tempers your will and molds you into a winner. Chapter 12. Seeking Continuous Improvement In your relentless pursuit of victory, embracing the concept of continuous improvement can be your game-changer. This philosophy, based on the Japanese idea of Kaizen, means always aiming for better, never settling for good enough. It's a mindset that can transform not only your strategies but also your personal character. You must understand that winning isn't a destination, but a journey. It's an ongoing process that demands constant learning, unlearning, and relearning. It's the art of refining your approach, expanding your knowledge, honing your skills, and adjusting your mindset. It's about seeking excellence in every aspect of your life. Continuous improvement isn't about comparing yourself with others, but about surpassing your past self. It's about setting new benchmarks, challenging your limits, and breaking your own records. It involves self-awareness, self-discipline, and a desire to improve. It's about acknowledging your weaknesses, turning them into strengths, and transforming your failures into stepping stones for success. Chapter 13. Seizing Opportunities now, you've got to master the art of seizing opportunities, the lifeblood of any victorious endeavor. It's not enough to merely recognize opportunities. You must grasp them with both hands, imbuing them with purpose and conviction. Opportunities don't always come gift-wrapped or with a bow on top. Sometimes they're hidden in failures, mistakes, or challenges. But that's where your true strength lies in the ability to see the silver lining in every cloud. In the grand game of life, opportunities are your power plays. They're the moments that demand you to step up, to swing for the fences, to dare greatly. So how do you seize them? By being alert, by staying prepared, and by not being afraid to take calculated risks. Remember, every opportunity seized is a step closer to your goals. It's a chance to shape your destiny and leave a mark on the world. Don't let fear of failure hold you back. Embrace the potential of the unknown and jump in with both feet. The possibilities are vast and the rewards immense. In the end, it's not the number of opportunities that come your way, but how many you seize that defines your success. So keep your eyes wide open, your mind sharp, and your heart ready for action. Success is waiting for those who dare to seize the day. Remember, in the art of winning, he who seizes opportunities wins. Chapter 14 Networking for Success Harnessing the power of your network is the unsung hero on your journey to victory. It's an essential skill, a secret weapon in your arsenal that can propel you toward success in any situation. When effectively mastered, networking can open doors to opportunities and avenues you've only dreamt about. Imagine you're in a room filled with people. Each person represents a connection, a potential ally who can help you skyrocket your success. Doesn't that prospect excite you? It should. You're surrounded by a wealth of knowledge, experience, and connections that can be instrumental in your journey to winning. But how do you tap into this gold mine? It's simple build genuine relationships. Reach out to people, show genuine interest in their lives, and endeavor to add value to their experiences. Remember, it's not about seeking what you can get, but about fostering mutually beneficial relationships. When networking, don't limit yourself to your immediate surroundings. Explore beyond your comfort zone. Attend industry events, join online communities, and seek out mentors in your field. The world is your oyster, and the pearls of wisdom and opportunities are there for you to discover. Networking isn't a one-time activity, it's an ongoing effort. 
Like a gardener nurturing plants, you need to continually cultivate your network. Keep the communication lines open, offer help when needed, and maintain relationships even when they aren't immediately beneficial. Your network is your ladder to success. Climb it with confidence, and remember winning isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey and the people who help you along the way. Chapter 15. Communicating Effectively Ever wondered how potent your words can be in your quest to win? You aren't alone. Mastering effective communication is a key instrument in your toolkit for victory, an essential skill that can open doors you never knew existed. It's not just about speaking eloquently or writing persuasively, but also about understanding others and making yourself understood. Communicating effectively is an art that requires patience, empathy, and precision. It's about knowing what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. It's about listening and understanding, about reading between the lines, about picking up on nonverbal cues. It's about being clear, concise, and cogent. Remember, every conversation is an opportunity to influence, to build relationships, to gather valuable information. Your words can inspire, motivate, and persuade others. They can build trust, foster collaboration, and create consensus. But they can also create confusion, breed mistrust, or even lead to conflict if not used wisely. To communicate effectively, you need to be aware of your own communication style and how it impacts others. Are you assertive or aggressive, passive or proactive? Do you tend to dominate conversations or do you listen more than you speak? Understanding these dynamics can help you adapt your style to different situations and audiences, increasing your chances of winning. Chapter 16. Negotiating like a pro. Building on your refined communication skills, you're ready to tackle the art of negotiation, a skill that can take you from being just a contender to a true champion. Negotiation isn't about winning or losing. It's about reaching a mutually beneficial solution. It's about understanding, not just your own needs, but also the needs of the person sitting across from you. To become a pro negotiator, you must first believe in your ability. You've got the tools, now it's time to sharpen them. Start by setting clear, achievable goals. Knowing what you want is the first step to getting it. Next, don't shy away from asking questions. Doing so not only clarifies your own understanding but also shows your interest and respect for the other party's perspective. Remember, negotiation is a two-way street. It's not about overpowering but finding common ground. You have to give a little to get a little. Compromise doesn't mean defeat, it means progress. And finally, never underestimate the power of patience. The art of negotiation requires time. Rushing can lead to unfavorable decisions or missed opportunities. Chapter 17 Making Decisive Choices In the game of life, making decisive choices sets the winners apart from the crowd. You're not just a leaf in the wind, blown about by circumstances. You're a captain, charting your own course, steering your ship with confidence. Decisiveness isn't about making quick decisions, but about making the right ones, firmly and without hesitation. Imagine yourself at a crossroads. You've got multiple paths ahead, each leading to different outcomes. Some paths are riskier, others safer. Some promise instant gratification, others long-term satisfaction. The winner doesn't spend ages dithering at this crossroads. They gather information, analyze the options, and then make a decision. What if you make the wrong choice? Here's the thing, there's no such thing as a universally bad choice. Sure, some choices lead to failure, but those failures are stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. They're lessons that guide you towards better decisions in the future. Winners understand this. They're not afraid to make bold choices, to take risks, because they know that every choice, every outcome, is an opportunity to learn and grow. Decisiveness is something like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. So start practicing today. Make a decision. Stick with it. 
learn from it. And remember, the only truly bad choice is choosing not to make a choice at all. It's your life, your game. Play it fearlessly. Play it to win. Chapter 18 Managing Time Wisely Just like a chess master carefully plans each move, you too must strategically manage your time if you're aiming for victory. Time isn't just an abstract concept, it's a valuable resource. You've got the same 24 hours as everyone else. How you use them determines your success or failure. Remember, every moment you spend is an investment. Are you investing wisely? Are you trading your time for activities that propel you towards your goals? Or are you squandering it on meaningless distractions? You need to assess, prioritize, and allocate your time based on the importance and urgency of your tasks. Begin by identifying your most productive hours. We all have a certain time of day when we're at our best. Use these peak periods for your most important tasks. Delegate or postpone less critical jobs. Break down your chores into manageable portions and complete them one at a time. This way you can keep your focus sharp and your mind clear. Implement tools and techniques to improve your time management skills. Use calendars, organizers, or apps to keep track of your schedule. Set realistic deadlines and stick to them. Learn to say no when necessary. Your time is valuable. Treat it accordingly. Chapter 19 Handling Stress and Pressure Sailing the tumultuous sea of stress and pressure is an essential skill on your journey to the pinnacle of success. You'll face challenges and obstacles, and it's your ability to remain calm and composed that will help you navigate these stormy waters. Remember, you're not alone in this. Everyone encounters stress, but the difference between a winner and a loser is how they handle it. Winners don't let stress control them, they control it. It's all right to feel stressed, but it's not all right to let it hinder your progress or cloud your judgment. Breathe. It may sound simple, but deep, controlled breathing can help you manage stress effectively. It slows your heart rate and helps you focus, giving you the clarity you need to tackle your problems head on. Embrace stress as a part of life, as a signal that you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. You're challenging yourself, growing and evolving. Stress isn't your enemy, it's a companion on your journey to success. Finally, Maintain a balanced lifestyle, regular workouts, a good diet, and enough sleep can significantly reduce stress. It's about your overall well-being. You can't win if you're not in good physical and mental health. In the art of winning, handling stress and pressure isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving. It's about turning adversities into opportunities, challenges into victories. So ride the waves, brave the storm, and remember, you're stronger than you think. You're a winner. Chapter 20 Staying Motivated While managing stress is key, it's your unwavering motivation that truly fuels your journey to success. It's the spark that ignites your determination, lighting up your path towards your goals. Remember, you're the captain of your own ship. No one else can steer you towards your dreams but yourself. Your motivation isn't just a catalyst, it's your compass. It's what keeps you going, pushing you to take that extra step, urging you to climb one more mountain. It's the voice that whispers in your ear, you can do it when the road gets rough, and the cheerleader that reminds you of your power and potential when you're on the brink of giving up. But how do you maintain this motivation? It's simple, keep your eyes on the prize. Always remember the reason why you started in the first place. Reflect on your objectives, envision your success, and let that image propel you forward. Your motivation will come from the heart if it's fueled by a cause you truly believe in. At times when things get tough, don't hesitate to take a step back, recharge, and realign your focus. Always keep in mind that the road to the finish line is more important than the speed with which you reach it. So keep that flame of motivation burning, because it's your most potent weapon in the art of winning. Chapter 21 Celebrating Your Wins Every victory, 
no matter how small, deserves a celebration because it's these wins that pave your path to ultimate success. Recognizing your achievements fuels your ambition and keeps your momentum alive. It's not about being boastful, but about acknowledging your progress. Celebrating your wins essentially becomes an affirmation of your capabilities, a personal pep rally that bolsters your confidence and resilience. The art of winning isn't solely about crossing the finish line, it's about savoring the journey. Each step forward, every goal accomplished, is a proof of your effort, dedication, and resilience. So, don't shy away from giving yourself credit. After all, who better than you to appreciate your strides? Consider setting milestones and rewarding yourself when you meet them. Rewards, whether they are modest treats, days off, or simply a pat on the back, serve as a tangible reminder of your achievement. They inspire you to keep going, to aim for more, to push your boundaries. Chapter 22 Learning from Setbacks Don't fear setbacks. Instead, embrace them as valuable lessons that sharpen your strategy and fortify your resolve on the journey to success. Experience, they say, is the best teacher, and setbacks are but experiences packaged in seemingly unattractive wrappings. Each setback holds a lesson, and it's your job to dissect it, to understand where you fell short and how you can improve. Remember, it's not about the number of times you fall, but the number of times you get back up. You're not failing, you're learning. You're refining your approach, honing your skills, and gaining insights that will prove invaluable. The road to victory is not a straight line, but rather a convoluted path with twists and turns but it's these twists and turns that prepare you for whatever lies ahead. Setbacks aren't roadblocks, they're stepping stones. They're an integral part of your success story, shaping you into a resilient winner. So, the next time you face a setback, don't wallow in self-pity or let it deter you. Instead, take a step back, assess what went wrong, and modify your strategy accordingly. It's all about perspective. A setback is a setup for a comeback. Every setback is a new opportunity to come back stronger, smarter, and more determined. It's a chance to reassess, to recalibrate, and to re-engage with your goals. So embrace setbacks, learn from them, and let them propel you towards your victory. After all, the art of winning isn't just about triumphing, it's about thriving even in the face of adversity. Chapter 23 Sustaining Long-Term Success Sustaining long-term success isn't just about the victory. It's about persistence, resilience, and adaptability. You possess the power to cultivate a winning mindset, consistently pushing past your limits to achieve your goals. Let's explore how you can build and maintain this momentum. Ensuring the triumphs you achieve today lay the foundation for your success tomorrow. Achieving Consistent Victory In the pursuit of victory, it's not just about reaching the top, but mastering the art of staying there. Consistency is the key to maintaining success. You've got to keep pushing, keep endeavoring, even when you're already at the top. It's easy to become complacent and rest on your laurels, but that's when you risk falling. Always aim to improve and evolve. Adapt to change and turn every challenge into an opportunity for growth. You must remain hungry for success, never satisfied with just good enough. Remember, victory isn't a destination, it's a journey. And the true art of winning? It's in the relentless pursuit of excellence, the unwavering commitment to progress, and the unyielding determination to remain victorious. Cultivating a Winning Mindset Building on this relentless pursuit of excellence, it's time to cultivate a winning mindset that will sustain your long-term success. You've got what it takes, but it's important to keep your mental game strong. This winning mentality isn't about never failing, it's about bouncing back stronger every time. Accept adversities as stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Remember, you're not just aiming for a single victory, you're building a legacy. Feed your mind with positivity. Surround yourself with people who lift you higher. Set clear, 
achievable goals, and visualize your success daily. Don't be afraid to dream big, but stay grounded in reality. Winning is an art, and the canvas is your mindset. Cultivate it and reap the rewards of long-term success. Persistence in Success While cultivating your winning mindset, remember, it's your unyielding persistence that'll truly propel you towards long-term success. Sure, talent and luck can play their part, but it's the brave heart that keeps pushing, despite setbacks, that truly prevails. It's not about never falling, it's about getting up every time you do. You may be wondering, what's the secret to persistence? The answer lies in your passion. Let your love for what you do be the fuel that keeps your flame burning. Let it be your guiding light in the darkest of times. You've got what it takes to persevere. Embrace the journey, relish the challenges, and never stop persevering. That's how you win not just once, but for the long haul. Adapting to change. As you aim for long-term success, you'll quickly realize that the ability to adapt to change isn't just a skill. It's a necessity. It's the thread that weaves through the fabric of your journey, ensuring you stay resilient, relevant, and ready for whatever comes your way. The world shifts, and so should you. Embrace change. Welcome it as your ally, not your enemy. It's your stepping stone to win in any situation. Remember, you're not defined by what happens to you, but by how you react to it. Adaptability is your secret weapon. Harness it, refine it, and you'll find that no matter the tide, you always land on your feet, victorious and wiser for the experience. Building lasting resilience. In the face of adversity, it's your resilience that'll carry you, turning each setback into a setup for a greater comeback. Building lasting resilience isn't about avoiding failure, but embracing it as an essential step on your path to success. You're not defined by the number of times you stumble, but by the strength you demonstrate when you rise. Resilience is a muscle. It needs to be exercised regularly. Start by viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. Stand up to your fears, embrace uncertainty, and remain flexible in the face of change. This will fortify your resilience, ensuring long-term success. You've mastered the art of winning, aligning mindset, goals, and strategy. You've learned to celebrate victories, rebound from setbacks, and sustain success. It's not easy, but remember, in the arena of life, you're the champion. Keep pushing, keep growing, keep winning. In the grand juxtaposition of triumph and struggle, may your resilience shine. Let your wins inspire others. Let your setbacks teach you. You're a winner, not by chance, but by choice. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.